Hey YouTube, so uh, I'm here with a product unboxing. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Luke Rosdahl on his channel did a review of the Nexus bag. It is a super awesome rucksack style backpack that is designed for bowling and for bowlers. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up here. We'll basically talk through what it's supposed to do, what that space it has. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. And I'll take it to league, take it to tournament this weekend, use that to see how it's gonna actually work for me. And let's talk through it. To be fair, I bought this myself. This was not a, a gift of any sort. This is the bag, backpack. It is a, here's how it's out of the, out of the, out of the box. It is, looks like a nice big thick backpack, which it basically is. But it has, um, oh, that's right. <laughs> it comes with uh, pouches, which use the military style, uh, mall, M-O-L-L-E style clips to be modular and attach to anything to the front of it. I don't know how to use this. So I will have to figure it out a little bit. These are really well designed in terms of what's inside of them. This big one here has got a bunch of individual dividers in place for things like, like thumbs, uh, half balls, tools, etc, etc. This one has got two pockets, including one that is waterproof, so I can put things like um, cleaner bottles in here or formerly wet Avalon pads. Another pad up front, this is being a very long pouch, are both really well suited for tools. Stuff like that. So, and then it has a dedicated shoe compartment down here, which is aerated or, or not airtight so it can breathe. So, my shoes are basically just slot on into here, and it should be really cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take some time to get things locked into where I believe they should be in terms of the pouches. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and take my current bowling bag, which is over here, and get everything from that transferred into here. To do that, in theory, I should basically be able to go to league, go to tournaments, have all my stuff in here, and I only need to take a tote or two. So the first issue that I actually had with the bag, pretty much the only issue I had with the bag, is that actually it was pretty hard to get these things attached um, to begin with. I'm not someone who's ever been in the military. I've never used this kind of attachment. In the end, I found that I had to basically use a Sharpie to sort of like raise up a little gap in the area where the clips are meant to go. Once I did that, it was pretty easy to get them attached. And beyond that point, it was pretty much just shoving things into the bag. The shoe slot inside is amazing. It holds my bowling shoes, holds my street shoes when I'm bowling. And then it was just a matter of figuring out what stuff goes where. The um, fun part was getting all the stuff into the big front pouch with all the squares, which has a full batch of assemble, assemblable or movable um, you know, dividers. You can use these to make that space kind of as big or as tight as you wanted it. Has all these great pouches in the front of that pouch for um, things like tape and, uh, and pins. And then those dividers can be used up for a lot of different things. I use them for my insertable thumbs. I'm gonna eventually have my chamois in here, puff ball, stuff like that. Pretty much anything that I need to set up to bowl is in that square. In the little top pouches up top, um, I put basically is just Start off with some miscellaneous equipment. You can see me figuring out where I'm gonna put my Avalon pads and chamois eventually. My thumb puller is gonna end up in the front pouch, but the waterproof pouch is gonna hold my cleaning supplies. It's eventually gonna hold my Avalon pads as well. All of the larger internal pouches have individual small things in them. And the big ones also have a lot of room. I'm able to basically hold my tripods in there. I'm able to hold my camera in there. There's a lot of really good space in this thing with some good organization. There are a couple of things I wish I had, like a couple of bigger pouches like for holding one of my small tripod, stuff like that. But as a bowling backpack, it is fantastic. Me also being a video person for YouTube adds a little bit of extra difficulty to it, but it has plenty of spaces for bowling tools. And this clip on the side for a water bottle is fantastic. I love it. So here's a look at the bag once I got it all fully assembled. This is pretty much the way that I laid it out and have used it for the past week. I've used it at one league session, at one tournament, 
and it's pretty well organized. I expect I'll probably spend some time revising this as I go forward. If things start being like, hey, wait, where is this? I'm not really sure where it's going to be. Then I'll figure out a better place for it. Uh, there's a good rule that Adam Savage uses. When you look for a thing in a place, if it's not there, keep it there because that's really where your mind thinks it belongs. So, so go ahead and do that. And I'm going to basically follow those principles. You can see these pouches. They're nice and deep, nice and big. So it's a really good bag. It's like it's very well made. And I'm really excited to see where it goes in the future and what I'm able to do with it. So I took it to a couple events over the last week and this weekend and it worked really well. The weight of the bag is nice. It sort of sits on the shoulders really easily. The nice big square shape lets it sit nicely on bowling bags. So it overall is a really good um, tool to have with you. Everything looks easy to find, everything looks easy to use. As I mentioned, the construction seems like it's going to be really good. The Velcro on here is amazing. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of patches off of eBay. Uh, basically, you get some patches, got some Velcro, either Christy stitched it on, or I got a glue gun and attached some Velcro that way. Super easy, super awesome. It's a great way of personalizing, great way to make it yours. And so I'm really happy with it. This is a thing I definitely would recommend to anybody who wants to go the Bullen backpack route with a backpack that has a good square dimensions to it. I mean, the inside has a lot of room. It's a lot of space you can use. As I mentioned before, some of the pouches on the inside of this compartment are a little bit small. There is one laptop bag, which is, or laptop slot, which is big enough for a laptop, which is sort of de rigueur on these things these days. And then a bunch of smaller pouches. I would have probably preferred one extra long pouch with a laptop one just for other miscellaneous big things. But other than that, it is great. It's fantastic and I plan to use it for a very long time. As always, hope you uh, stick around for future videos. I'm gonna keep trying to do reviews of things, whether it's going to be more equipment or even start reviewing the balls that I use. They're not new, but they're things that might be really useful for league bowlers of my level to know. So if you wanna see stuff like that, be sure to like, comment, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you again in the next video. Good luck and good bowling.